Hey, so late video today. Um, and so I was going to make it quick too. But uh, today in my world history classes, we started the mock tribunal that um, I always do every year. Uh, and so basically we, as we, as a culminating project for the unit on European contact and colonization, we do a tribunal where we try to see, you know, who is responsible, who, who should take the blame for um, three charges. So one is the uh, genocide of Native Americans, one is the exploitation of Native American lands, and then the last one is for the Atlantic slave trade, the enslavement of 27 million people. And so historically, you know, I built this project off of the work that some of the colleagues in the district have done. Um, they did some great work around project-based learning and getting this set up. Um, but I uh, have ch made changes to it over the years, right, to suit my students. And um, after a conversation with one of our equity specialists in the district, John Eckloff, uh, and some of the other teachers were really looking at the fact that before we had this tribunal and we were, like, trying to do a historic-style tribunal, and so we did a Catholic um, court, right? And Catholic judges, um, priests were getting to decide the guilt. But what I noticed over the years, uh, and testimony and then the way evidence came out is right. Like that system is inherently unjust, right? Like they're always going to side with Europeans and with Christians. Uh, and so he, so he made the suggestion of flipping the script and having the tribunal be um, from the perspective, the judges being from the perspective of the Native Americans and of the African slaves. So we switched that around this year, and I th I'm excited about the prospects of it already. Um, I've always had some issues with the tribunal because since the the way it goes is like everybody's trying to shift the blame from their group to other groups. Well, if one of the groups that's testifying is the African slaves or one of the groups that's testifying is the Native Americans, some groups in the past have tried to shift the blame to those groups rather than to the Europeans, right? As, they, as they've tried to like shift the blame away from themselves. And so that was a, really sat problematically with me, um, the idea that this great injustice, um, even if it's not intentional by students, right? But like the fact that uh, we even set it up in such a way where students would end up arguing uh, that the victims of oppression or the cause of oppression was troubling. And so I'm, I'm glad that we flipped the script. They're now going to be the judges. They get to decide who is most responsible. And so, you know, the way I kind of framed it is all of the groups that we, that are testifying are partially responsible. And so if we do an equal split that everybody is equally guilty, right? Uh, divided a hundred percent, six groups, that's, you know, 16.67% guilt. Um, and so if they're, as they argue and as they get into the evidence and try to shift the blame, right? Like they, the judges are going to have to decide what percentage each group's guilty, um, if at all, based on their testimony. And so it'll be interesting to see as they develop how that goes. And I'm excited to see the changes and hopefully it created a more just lesson plan um, that values the perspective of indigenous and, and those of African descent um, and doesn't end up with the murky waters that we did around um, the issue in previous years. So I'll keep you updated and see how this project goes over the next couple of weeks. Thanks.